That is the greatest of the commandments. And every Jew recognized that. Because it is in their law. Because of their pretense and pretexts of those who claimed to be specialists in religion. I did this law, Dori Mayer, into useless pieces. That every Jew was taught that to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, that is what the Lord commands. And every Jew was to teach this to his children. Deuteronomy chapter 6. You write it on your doorpost. You say it everywhere. So that Omogulile will know it. We were taught that as children. Every single day. Every good Catholic family said twice in a day. Omume nke funanya. Ochuku nke mu. Ngwana. Omume nke funanya. Ochuku nke mu. You see it? If a child keeps saying that twice every day until his death, it becomes part of his religious and moral consciousness. Man, I ask him why. Ask you to take a look at the Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, what about the Buchaina to the Tata? Very correct, too. Make and dear, I need a wish. In the Gabum, we have in a Tiamen. And your child sets out to school in the morning, thinking only of those who will be coming to fight him, not those whom he is invited to love. Teach it to your children and your children's children. So that it becomes part of their consciousness. The love of God. But then, that is not enough. That is only one. Because John tells us it is easy to love God. Whom you don't see. It is easy to claim you love him. But the only way you will show you love God is that you love your neighbor. So the second is like this. Similar. It resembles it. And that is in the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19. Verse 18. If you begin from verse 17. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. You are at mass who check your heart. I once said, if your enemy makes you to hate him or her, he or she has conquered you completely. Because the only way to show you are a Christian is by loving even your enemy. Don't bear hatred. Though you may have to reprove your fellow man, do not incur sin because of he who knows or Mary, because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against your fellow countryman. Nothing we love in Nigeria today like revenge, even against those who have not done anything to us. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus tells us this is the summary of the entire law and the prophet. The whole of the Old Testament is divided into three groups. The law, the prophets, and the writings. The law are the five books of Moses plus some others joining them. The writings are the stories about the judges, the kings, and Samuel, and such stories. And then all the prophets from the great ones like Isaiah and Jeremiah to the minor ones like Baruch and Habakkuk. 
And Jesus is telling us today, as he was telling the Jews, these two laws that really one law in two branches summarizes everything our ancestors were told about God and about human beings.